Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the life-size Leonardo's Arch Bridge. Last experiment, I did the model size. This time, I am going to cross the pond. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is 10 2 by 3 inches, 8 foot boards, and 5 1 and a quarter inch dowels, 48 inches long, that you can find at your local hardware store. Yeah. All right, well, welcome back to Kids Fun Science. Um, last experiment I did a Leonardo's arch bridge but I did a little small model and so today what we're going to do is we're going to do a large uh, life-size model and what we're going to do is we're going to go and create this and we're going to cross the pond so we're going to make an actual bridge and cross the pond and this is how we do it so to build the bridge I started off with uh, two two by threes and put them in the middle spacing them out about uh, you know about three feet and then you're going to take one dowel and put it right in the middle of the two by three so about four feet in and so it's hanging over the edge then you're going to take two more uh two by threes and place them on top of the dowel just like this overlapping about by six to eight inches or 15 uh, centimeters to 20 centimeters and then you take another dowel one person's going to grab the bottom two uh, of the two by threes lift them up so someone else can put the dowel in between extending over uh the, the dowel by six to eight inches and then you're going to repeat the process. Go on the inside of the two by threes and place them on top of the dowel. And then you're going to grab, one person is going to grab the bottom two two by fours that are on the ground, pick it up, and place the dowel back in again with it extending over about six to eight inches there. So you're just going to keep repeating it. Since my bocce ball court is running out of space on one end, I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to have to go the other way. Um, so I will grab two more and we're going to place these on the inside of the other two by fours, but on top of the dowel right there. And then, um, we're going to have Craig, uh, grab the bottom two. Uh, I got to move the camera here for a second. Going to grab the bottom two, uh, of the two by fours that are on the ground right there. It's got to go down a little farther. And then I'm going to place the dowel once he gets them higher than the other one and put them in about 68 inches up. And therefore, now we need to tighten it up a little bit. Um, you wanna push all the two by four so they're kind of touching each other. You don't want any space in between. Otherwise, you won't be able to go uh, across the bridge. So um, when you step on it, remember, this is a just trying a little test run here. You can see it's angling a little bit um, and it's going to tilt to the side. So I stopped going. Um, the base of the sides are uh, not centered up. So I need to pull those out a little bit um, and make sure it's uh, completely set. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to move the bridge. Once we get it tightened up, we're gonna tr each grab one end of the bridge. It should stay together. And we're gonna move it over to the pond. Um, I actually, I only used uh, right, four, so uh, eight of the two by threes the and uh, four of the dowels because my bridge, uh, my pond wasn't as long. Going to the right. So here goes the first test, and um, I'm starting to go, and it's starting to sway back and forth. And once again, when we put it down, the ground isn't seen right there. One of the two by threes, uh, that was a close, close call falling in there, uh, tilted to the side because it wasn't, when we moved it, we didn't uh, tighten the two by threes together. Um, so it had some space to be able to tilt. So we're tightening this up. And we're probably going to have to move it too because the ground is not level. So we're going to move it so it's on level ground both ways. Um, you don't want it angling one way or the other. And it kind of was angling. So make sure it's a little straight here again. And uh, once everything's tight together, um, then I will make the attempt to go across the pond without falling in. So um, we'll get everything straight there. Make sure those dowels are a little bit farther up. And remember, I'm 191 pounds, 86 uh, kil kilograms, and I'm going to attempt to go over here. The steps are a little bit far, um, but I think I'm going to, now I'm in the middle. Now I'm fully committed. And up, one more step to go, and did it. Success, 191 pounds. Awesome. So we got a uh, second person going over to see if we can make it across. The hardest part was how far the steps were in between. So you had to really be flexible and stretch, uh, maybe cutting the wood in half and making them closer instead of eight foot long, two, two by threes, making them four by uh, uh, four feet long, 
Uh, you'd have steps in between. Once again, success. We made the bridge yeah, all the way across, and it was successful. Awesome. We did it. So a little closer look here. You can see the, two, uh, the dowels about six to eight inches over. You can also see the two by fours are flushed against each other. Very important. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and share. And thanks for watching.